Akshay, contentment. Contentment, Akshay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Let me start by asking a simple question. I would kindly require you to give a show of hands. How many people here aspire for great wealth? How many people here aspire for great professional success? How many people here want a beautiful girlfriend or a handsome boyfriend. The married people excluded, please. <laughs> and my final question. How many of you want a peaceful sleep today and a wonderful morning tomorrow? Everybody. What we want the most is contentment, my friends. Contentment, <coughs> a philosophical <coughs> word. So, I am here to tell about contentment. It's not how much you possess in life that defines wealth, but how much you value. And I got these lessons of life as I passed on. The way I see it, all of us here can afford three square meals a day. I would rather say sumptuous and sizzling meals a day. We all can have and afford basic amenities of life. We can indulge in whatever we want. The way I see it, we all are rich people. Madam Toastmaster, fellow millionaires. Three ways to achieve contentment in life. Part number one, appreciating what you have. I own a 15-year-old Zen, a piece of junk. And the most embarrassing moment is when my dad drops me to college in that I sort of disassociate with him at that moment as compared to my wealthy friends. And hence, I asked him, Dad, why don't we replace this piece of junk? And the reply was simple, like any Indian. If it's working, why do we replace it? And I would rather replace a 22-year-old son who disobeys me rather than the car who is still with me. constant anguish. What in the hell is this car? But you only realize a value of something when you have lost it. A month ago, our car broke down in the middle and it had to go to the mechanic's shop. It took literally 15 days to repair. <coughs> and hence, even for the smallest of journeys, I had to take an auto or any medium of public transport. Now the problem with autos in Mumbai is they stomp your heart more painfully than a girl could ever. <laughs> You're like, auto, auto, that bugger comes here, he sees you, he gives you hope. Where do you want to go? Andheri. <laughs> what? <laughs> and what, how can I start about trains? Like, I think commando should be given train, how to board trains at the other. They must, there's so much of fighting, like, Many a time I am pushed to Matunga, do I want to reach Dadar? And that, my friends, is the day I realized when my Zen finally came at my house. Oh, the feeling that now I have my own car. Though it's a piece of junk, but it's my own. And that was my Mercedes. Everything you possess in life, you don't know. Maybe millions of people are longing for the same thing. Have you seen people? struggling in buses and autos while you sit in AC air-conditioned car. Part number two, the mindset which you need to keep to attain contentment. Last month, I was in the area contest of table topics. Butterflies in my stomach. And I thought, if I don't win this, it's not worth it. Coming this close, it's like becoming friend zone when you have a good chance. And hence, I called my mom. Mom, if I lose this, it's not worth it. I'm leaving Toastmasters. And my parents, being very assertive, you have always been a fat and an untalented boy. <laughs> Neither can you sing, nor can you dance, unless you're drunk. <laughs> Son, this is your only opportunity to showcase your talent in front of these highly accomplished and intelligent people. 
why not grab the most of it? And hence I was in this stage with the feeling that I want to seize this moment like I'm here today, not for the best speaker award, but to make a long lasting impression in your mind that you people will not forget me even after this speech. And that is hence I realized this is what makes real winners. They want to seize the moment. They don't have the greed of winning or the fear of losing. But does being contented hamper your aggression or your hunger? Not at all. Be the aggressive person you have always been. Be hungry for success. But after the event is over, go home and sleep peacefully. After that, it's not in your reach. Step number three, the last step. When you have found, finally found what you wanted. Today, I am finally able to afford an I-10 card. My car finally arrives in the red ribbon and I'm happy. But my happiness is short-lived when I see my exact friend in the same post having a Honda City. His happiness is hampered when he sees his wealthy friend having a Honda Accord and his happiness is hampered when he sees Shah Rukh Khan's BMW 7 Series. And Shah Rukh Khan basically envies any person who gets a parking at Vankati Stadium. <laughs> Endless, my friends. The process is endless. Today I get a promotion. My, my happiness is half because the same person working with me has got it. Why? Why is this comparison? You need to set your goals and you need to stop the moment you reach it. You need to enjoy success. How many times has this happened with you that you have longed to attain something and the moment you get it, you're on to something next. After iPhone 6, there is 7. After 7, there is 7 plus. And it's a never-ending process. Finally, I would like to say, a day not enjoyed is a day wasted. Seize the moment, my friends, and appreciate and enjoy with whatever you have. Because wealth is not defined by how much you possess, but by how much you value. Thank you, millionaires.